Translation is the one true international language. I'm Yuan, and I work for the Wikimedia Foundation, where I, among other things, try to make sure that information is spread around the movement, especially technical information. And English doesn't really work very well, for several reasons. A lot of people don't speak English. The connected movement doesn't always show this. When you go to Wikimania, you will mainly meet people who speak perfectly decent English. However, we are a very self-selecting bunch. If you don't speak this language, you will probably not come here. We are not representative of the movement as such. Automatic translations don't always work very well. You will get some sort of message. You might be able to understand what's said, but probably not. A lot of us communicate in languages that are not our native languages, as I'm doing now. And while you can understand me perfectly well, I hope, I'm not as precise as I would have been in Swedish. And from a WMF perspective, uh, the perspective of the Wikimedia Foundation, perhaps an even bigger problem is that it's not just about understanding, it's that English does not belong. If you come with a message in English to one of the other wikis, it's a very, very clear sign that, hello, I'm coming from the outside. I'm going to tell you something but I'm not really one of you. So in order to fight this, we have a lot of translation systems. We have content translation, which we use to translate content from one article on, say, German Wikipedia to an article on Norwegian Wikipedia. We do software translations on Translate Wiki. We translate information on Meta that is often not time sensitive, but it's good to have that. We translate information about our own technical software on mediawiki.org using the translate extension. And my great problem, personally, is that we do translations for messages to the wikis. These are time sensitive, you need to know something, editors need to know something, something is going to affect what they do on a daily basis, and we need to be able to tell them, and we try to do that, and we sometimes fail. So what can we do? We should be better at offering translatability, which at the moment has the <laughs> problem that you end up with translate tags everywhere. Hopefully, in the future, things will be different. But at the moment, whenever I try to make a living document translatable, people will complain that it's uneditable instead. We should be better at supporting translators. In both technical and non-technical ways. And the plan when I submitted this talk was that we could have a discussion about how to do this in non-technical ways, because that was I work with. Uh, due to being scheduled for two presentations in a row. Uh, I'm not sure we'll have that time, but I'm trying to go through this as fast as possible. You can always find me later. Please do. If you're interested in these questions, get in touch. For example, the people who mark up things for translation could be better at it. I don't know if you've ever done this if you have ever translated something on Meta or MediaWiki.org. But you put translate tags around a paragraph, a sentence, or in worst case, an entire page, in which case no one will ever translate it. Because what happens is that you get an entire screen of text that you have to translate before you push save. And that's not gonna happen. We want them in small chunks. If you ever mark things for translations, remember that translators really prefer something that they can quickly translate 
and go on to the next. 100 short pieces are better than one really, really big one. Of course, it makes the page completely unendable for everyone else. The information for translators is currently spread out everywhere. Depending on what you want to translate and how you want to translate it. Hello, Benoit. Our presentation started earlier than we were told it would be. There is very outdated information for Wikimedians who want to become translators. And what information exists is usually available on Meta, not actually on their home wikis where they are active. And I'm not talking translations about messages that we use to communicate with each other as a movement rather than articles. There's one thing we could really, really do to help each other, uh, which Benoit here is working on, or will be working on, which is a glossary of both technical terms, and this can be found elsewhere, of course, but also Wikimedia terms. Because I sometimes have trouble translating my own texts from English. I wrote them in English. I've been active in this movement for 12 years. I know these words. And then I try to translate my own text into my native language. And I get stuck. Because I've never really discussed that particular thing in Swedish before. So I don't know what we call it. And then I have to spend five, six minutes trying to find uh, a related page on Swedish Wikipedia to figure out, yeah, okay, so someone has named it this. We don't really talk about it, but there is a name, so I should not make one of my own all of a sudden. And this is something we almost never do. We don't talk about translation as a path into the Wikimedia world. Translations are something that happen when Wikimedians feel that there is a need to get information across. But it wouldn't necessarily have to be this way, especially if I had a glossary, which would make it so much easier for people who are new to the movement to help out with translations. And I think that we should be very much better at highlighting this, because it would mean that we could reach a new audience. There are a lot of people who like to translate, a lot of people who would like to be better at translating. And we could be a venue for them. If you care about this, um, I'm tr translation strategy is a very grand word. But I have a small document that I put on Meta. It's called translation strategy. Where I've tried to outline some of the things we could do in far greater detail than I have time to do here. If you yourself want to help out, then one good way is to sign up for the translators list, where a lot of information about what is needed to be translated will turn up. What time is it? Yeah, it's time for questions. Um, so we had a few questions, uh, because we really wanted a discussion. Um, these are examples of questions. If you have any other comments you would like to add, please do so. Yeah, just hello everyone. Sorry I'm late. Uh, yeah, we, we have some concern about that translation strategy because we are not going to address everything, so we need your input. Uh, first, we want to know what are your blockers. For example, uh, here, how many people do translations of messages sent to other wikis? Oh, you can raise your hands. Okay, and for the others, I would like to know why you are not doing this. It's not, I, I don't want to say it's bad not doing this, but I just want to know why you don't translate. It may be because we don't, we, we, we have blockers. As Yuan said, we may have not a good uh, way to outreach on uh, what we want to, what we have to translate. Um, for example, how many of you were aware of that translation, translator's mailing list? Okay, that's roughly the same hands we raised. 
Yeah. So it's your your turn now. Uh, what is your opinion about these uh, these questions? And do you have anything that can help everyone to have more information about transition and uh, to get to have more things transited for every people in that movement? So. First, what are your blockers? Yeah, I mean. Uh. Hi, um, I, w I would think that what would help a lot would having something like a very brief overview in different languages for the different wikis. Wikis, uh, what kind, what fields of translations we have? So because I think some people will be interested in translating software. Um, issues, others not. So, where, yeah, what can you translate and how do you do that? Just like have a short um, overview. Okay, so you mean a, a page somewhere yeah. where people can reach that and kind of information? Um, Johan was thinking about having an external website for that. It can be a way to. I think that's a slightly different thing. Um, the I. I had a plan for an external website, which no one else liked, as I'm kind of scrapping that. Um, but one of the things we should do is to collect information, because as I mentioned earlier, it is spread out everywhere. So if you want to do a certain kind of translation, you have to go to that place to find that information. If you want to do another kind of translation, you have to go to a different place. And there have been attempts to uh, address this, but our information is very outdated as it tends to be. And it's of course possible that we will do this and then it's not outdated for six months. And then two years later, we're back in the same situation. Uh, but I think that one good first step would be to have that centralized information or that collected information more available on people's homes, wikis. Because a very small percentage of Wikimedians regularly go to Meta. Sibrand? Yeah, f first of all, oh, uh, hi, I'm Sibrand. I'm a, a long-term uh, project lead of TranslateWiki.net, and I have some experience with translation features. Um, uh, thanks for this overview. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy that, that we are servicing this as, as an important topic now. I think that is a realization that has come over the past few years. Um, and I've always advocated for, for this topic being important. In, in my opinion, um, everything that has to do with translation is um, in that it's really important to, to realize that even the, like we have, uh, uh, even though we, ha we call it the Wikimedia community, we have as many communities as we have wikis. And when you look at translation, you have even more communities because in the multi-language projects, uh, you have the communities of people speaking the same language. And um, uh, you indicate one of the issues where you have to start um, is that you have to centralize information, but this information always has to be decentralized because someone who wants to translate on comments because, I don't know, their category pages, he wants to have their category pages in Bulgarian or something like that. He's not going to go to Meta to, f to find his information. Uh, so this, this, yeah, I mean, um, maybe we can do something with uh, uh, global user pages or a scary transclusion or, <laughs> I yeah. don't know if you're familiar with the concepts from a media wiki perspective, but like make uh, ha have single instance uh, pages on a wiki that we make available and searchable and uh, discoverable. Uh, is Katie Horn here or someone from the discovery team? Yeah, th that's a project uh, called Shadow Name Spaces. And uh, for example, it will be possible to have an L page from uh, mediawiki.org to be transcribed on all the wikis and the language that the wiki are yeah, speaking. We are watching that project because, uh, es yeah, especially me on that side o size side of the project, I'm working on the doc most on documentation, and it's really interesting to have a, yeah something like that. Yeah, and, and I mean, um, kudos to you, and please keep keep that holistic view because there's a lot of, of other people that look into the 
tiny nitty gritty details in, surface the blockers indeed, and signal those to the people that can help you fix them technically and, and yeah, support the people that can uh, contribute to fixing the process. Okay, thank you. Um, one last question. Well, hello, I'm user base who uh, translate admin on a bunch of wikis and I do translation into Ukraine sometimes. Uh, well, the problem is that I am not sure whether we really need such accessible pages for translators because what the problem is that uh, sometimes when people do come to translating, they do bad translation. So when it is kind of good that there is some a barrier that you have to get to meta to no, to learn how to translate because usually the people who go as far as meta they are experienced wikimedians who do know wikimedia terminology who are in wikimedia movement for a couple of years at least so they know what they are translating because actually it is bad that there are few translators for example for ukrainian but at least I know all these people, I know what quality of translations they provide. But sometimes a new person comes and it just scares you when that person translates and you just have to review all those translations because they are really awful. Okay. Um, there is multiple ways to address that. The first one is to have a glossary, for example, uh, to have better documentation so people can know what uh, they are translating about. That's the first thing. Uh, another way, you know, to have more translators, it's like uh, when you are writing an article on Wikipedia or uh, proofreading a page on Wikisource, the more you are, the more the quality is high. So we need to reach in order to have uh, more people doing this. You have other thought? I mean, no, um, you're absolutely correct, of course. Um, however, I think that in order to maintain an ability to translate and get an ability to translate, we need to accept that because the problems at the moment are so huge that we, we simply can't continue this way if we want to be an international movement. A badly translated page is available in English. A well translated page is often available in what, 12 languages, something like that? Um, and that just keeps so many Wikimedians shut out of that information. Well, yes, but the problem is that better translations are actually difficult to understand. So it just solves nothing. Like, uh, but uh, for a translate for another person, it is it diffi more difficult to work with that translation than with just translating from uh, the from non with non-existent translation, just translating from English uh, from the scratch. Yeah, a, a possible idea about that would be to have uh, uh, a link to encourage people to review translations. To yeah, it can it can be a way we can we can study about yeah, and uh. yeah. So anyway, I'm sorry for the late start. Um, it was a bit difficult to get here on time, but thank you so much, everyone, for sitting here, for listening to us, for being part of the conversation, and. If you want to help out, please do sign up as a translator, do join the translator list, do check out the translator strategy on Meta. It's called exactly that. And if you want to continue talking about this, uh, then please, you know, grab me or Benoit. Thank you.